Hello, and this is Fools on the Block. This week, we are watching very closely on two of the world's largest banks, Credit Suisse and Deutsche Bank, that made headlines. It was announced that they could be on the brink of collapse. It was said that they are suffering from distressed valuations. And the bank's credit default insurance levels are approaching degrees not seen since 2008, when the Lehman Brothers collapsed and fought for bankruptcy. Although not directly related to cryptos, I believe it has a direct impact on the crypto market as a whole when that happens. According to this Twitter thread, it was said that Lehman Brothers had $600 billion in assets when they took the economy with them, as opposed to $2,800 billion that Credit Suisse and Deutsche Bank have control in asset under management. That is 4.6 times more. The scary thing about this is, even without any underlying issues, such a rumor can quickly become a self-fulfilling prophecy as panicking clients start withdrawing their money. This reminds me of the collapse of the Luna back in May this year. If a repeat of Anna Lehman Brothers collapse, I think the entire economy will be in a shitstorm and crypto market will be affected even more as it is a risky asset and investors tend to sell off risky assets first. So you tell me, is that a major cause for concern? I guess. We'll keep a close watch on this and keep you updated in this space. In the NFT space, alcohol brands are stepping into the NFT space. Alcohol NFTs are flourishing by tokenizing physical bottles, paving the way to verifiable authenticity and rewards gained through NFT ownership. So for example, some authentic bottles now have NFTs attached to them for real-time tracking. So wherever the bottle goes, you know. Mm. Block Bar, an NFT marketplace for fine wines and spirits that connects customers directly with alcohol companies, have so far partnered with high-end brands like Glenn Fiddick and Remy Martin where they reserve limited edition bottles and mint them as NFTs on the platform. So some of this redemption could be immediate or later, allowing the owner to delegate the storage of the bottles in a safe place and benefit from potential price increases during that time. Some other cocktail bars are including unlockable content, such as grant access to recipes, digital experiences, special tastings, AMA sessions with real renowned bartenders. So it's pretty cool, huh? Yep. Also in the NFT space, you can now redeem free NFT at the National Gallery Singapore vending machine. This is an initiative to make art more accessible to the public and also instill a sense of ownership by using the blockchain technology. Singapore will not be left behind in this race of NFT technology. So, a prototype platform has been developed with Art Wall Street to redeem art NFTs for free. All you have to do is just scan a QR code, create an account via email to redeem it, so you don't need any wallet or whatever. That's easy. Yep. National Arts Council is also collaborating with the Arts Council Korea into the metaverse, including art studio tours in the metaverse, interactive art programs, and also panel discussions. I guess they are really looking to step up and support more of such projects involving Web3 in the future. Alright, we have come to the end of today's update. Thank you so much for watching or listening. Signing off, Fools on the Block. block.